Hey everyone, welcome back. I am Rob and a little change in the schedule programming for you. Um, for the month of October, kind of around Halloween season, On the Fence Movie Reviews is going to be teaming up with the Knights of Horror. And I'm going to be bringing you some of my must-watches around Halloween time. Uh, you know, just what I feel, some of the things that I like to watch around this time just to get me in the spooky time of the year. Um, so, and in saying that, welcome back to Slashback Friday. Now in this episode of Slashback Friday, I'm going to review a movie that came out in 2018. So it is a relatively recent movie that I do enjoy that I have kind of put in my must watches around this time of the year. And let me tell you why, because this movie is called Hellfest. Now Hellfest uh, follows these characters, uh, three, uh, three, three guys and three girls are kind of, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, and one of them is trying to uh, woo the other. And so, you know, you have this group of friends that goes uh, to this kind of traveling circus, but it's it's circus, but more scary mazes. Now, uh, me being a fan of like Horror Nights and uh, Not Scary Farm, I enjoy walking through these mazes. So when I seen a trailer for this movie and I was just like, what? Like if there was a killer on the loose in one of these events, that seems really crazy and a little creepy being as that I go to these events. But at the same time, it caught my intrigue. So <clears throat> not to, I don't want to give too much away. I don't want to spoil anything for you. So I'm just going to kind of keep the overall uh, synopsis of the movie brief and just kind of get into stuff that I like and didn't like and whether or not I think you should check this movie out. Um, Pretty much follows these six characters. They're all friends. Um, you know, one of them gets tickets for this event because this is the, you know, the, the event to be at. It's hard to get tickets. They sell out real quick and they get tickets. So they go and it just so happens that this particular day that they go, there is a killer who happens to dress as the characters that are in this event and goes around and starts killing people. Now in saying that, that's kind of where I'm going to stop with the plot. Um, things I did enjoy about this movie, <clears throat> excuse me. Just the over, you could tell they invested time into the mazes. It looks like you know when you when you, the characters are going through the mazes, it looks like a maze that I've gone through. You know, you have the the room with a bunch of faces, you don't know which one's real, or the bunch of bodies, you don't know which one is gonna jump out at you. You know, the the a room where there's a bunch of hands trying to grab you, and you don't know which one's real, you don't know which one's not real. And you even have um, some of the characters in the movie, say, you know, kind of giving out, uh, uh, you know, it's kind of saying out loud, oh, this is how you can tell this is real, or this is how you can tell that, you know, where the scare is going to come from, and stuff like that, and stuff I've actually done in mazes myself, where it's like, oh, look at this, or oh, look at that. Um, and the thing I did enjoy about this movie also is, you, the characters in this movie, they, you have, if you go to these events enough, you kind of can pick out the, you know, the people who haven't been there who don't really go people that are they're there really often and you know the people who are just there and and they're there to have fun and be crazy and you know get scared and you, they have all these types of characters in this movie and you see that and you're like oh yeah i can relate to this character i can relate to that character and you have the 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 person who's scared of everything you have the person who's crazy and will do everything you have the person who's in the middle who's just there to you know maybe she got drugged there or he got drugged there by a friend and happened to you know this happened to be the event that they're going out to that night so i did enjoy i do enjoy that part of it because you can relate to these characters um one negative thing though about the characters is there there's no one that really kind of stands out um Honestly, this movie is, it sounds weird to say because the, the killer is in the movie a lot, um, but I feel the more focal point of this movie is the mazes, the event, and the the killer, and these the group of friends that we're following are kind of like, not an afterthought because they're obviously forefront in the movie, but you kind of remember the other stuff as opposed to, there's nothing real memorable about these characters. Now, that's not to say this is a bad movie or anything like that, but just um, the characters, didn't, they didn't give them anything to stand out above. I feel like in my, in my mind, were great set pieces, especially coming from, you know, where I think of like these events that I've gone to and I can be like, oh yeah, this is cool, this is cool. So... The, the characters didn't do anything to stand out above the 
the whole facade and and the whole environment that they made in this movie, which I mean is a good thing, but also a bad thing because you know you need to get some characters that kind of push themselves and stand out a little more. So that, I will say that's that's kind of I guess maybe a negative. Um, another I guess uh, not so much negative. We'll go back to positive is some of the kills in this movie are really cool. Uh, they're creative, and I did enjoy them. But now, switching over to a negative thing is I feel like they could have done more. With this huge amusement park and all these mazes, I feel like there wasn't enough, um, there wasn't enough, I guess, maybe leaving, there were, there were suspenseful things, but there wasn't enough to be like, oh, I feel like they could have did this, or they could have used this in a certain way. They didn't really use the killer uh, a lot using the environment of the mazes. Obviously, he he was in the. Ma I know it sounds weird saying that, but I feel like they could have got, done more in the mazes with the killer and the way he was dressed. And and but now let me get to a positive thing. Um, they do build. I guess you would you would I would say they're you know kind of fake out scares because this killer is dressed like other characters throughout this this land that they're in. Um, they use that to fake you out a lot and one scene in particular uh, Try to not spoil too much But one of the characters is in you know kind of like a little doom buggy kind of thing and <clears throat> Excuse me, and you see this character which you you don't know if it's the killer or not the killer and it gets closer lights go off gets closer and it ends up kind of you know being not the killer uh, It's this is early on in the movie, so I don't feel like it, you know spoiling anything, but so they do a lot of that. They, they use that really well. Fake outs and, you know, kind of like they trick you with, you know, this or that. And they use it to the, to the like, kind of just fake outs. And then they use it to really get you. So those are things that I did enjoy. Um, and in saying all this, um, I will say this. This is a typical slasher horror movie. Um, it's kind of short. I feel like it, I I would have liked it to be a little longer, but that you know would also inquire you know a little more investment uh, into characters because I feel like they did a really good job with everything else. Um, my only really I guess super negative thing I would have is the main characters did not stand out, but they did invest into everything else. So I feel like that's really good. Um, negative things i mean i said it right there that they didn't really invest too much in the characters oh one thing too is and, and i, I kind of get this you kind of gotta i guess take a step back is is in these mazes you know they're i if anyone's ever walked through these mazes you know that these mazes are super packed um but these characters they walk through the maze and it's like they're the only ones in there i wish it was like that but um, like I said, if anyone's ever walked through one of these mazes, you know that it's always packed and anyone could see if someone was being attacked in the maze and, you know, I feel like people might freak out. But again, it's one of the things you kind of got to, you know, let me suspend my, my belief in or my disbelief and stuff and, and, uh, just enjoy this for the mindless horror slasher drama that it is. Um, <clears throat> and saying all this, how do I feel about Hellfest? Well, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say if you enjoy slasher horror movies with a little bit of comedy, tiny bit, um, definitely get off the fence and check out Hellfest. Like I said, there, <clears throat> you if you enjoy uh, certain haunt events like the you know like at theme parks and stuff, you I feel like you would enjoy this a little more because you can kind of relate to certain things and you would and you would spend more time actually probably picking out little things in the mazes like oh that's cool or this is cool or that wouldn't work um now if you're not a fan of horror obviously this would probably not work for you and i would say definitely stay on the fence um but if you're if you are a fan and you like slashers and you like you know just to sometimes turn off your mind a little bit and watch a good scary movie around halloween time i would say get off the fence and check it get all yeah get off the fence and check out hellfest well in saying that everyone thanks for tuning in um for this collaboration between the knights of horror and on the fence movie reviews we truly do appreciate um all your support on both ends uh we're gonna try and bring you more of these movies together we're gonna do more collabs hopefully together um in saying that, uh, also, uh, our Instagram uh, at On The Fence Movie Reviews, we do try to do a little behind-the-scenes stuff there. And over, I know, at uh, the Knights of Horror have their Instagram. And 
and uh, you know they do a lot of content over there and and go ahead and check uh, both those Instagram and their channels out and in saying that thanks for tuning in truly I do appreciate all the support and remember don't go in the mazes without a buddy